Was it you that was trying to do CPR on him? Yes. He says to me that first of all, he wants you to know, thank you for trying to give him another chance and an opportunity. Hi, Hi Mary, how are you? Good, how are you? Who is this with you? This is my mom. And this, is, and this is my son. How you doing, oh, great. Well, I'm glad that you're here. So yeah. who's Mary? Me. And did you yes. lose the fiance? Yes. Because yes. right away I have your fiance here because he leaned down and said, will you marry me? Which is his way of acknowledging that you were supposed to get married. Yeah. And this was your soulmate. I believe that. He says to me that first of all, this was crazy on how he had died. Yeah. Because when I'm connected with him, I keep hearing that they were trying to revive him. So he shows me that, was it you that was trying to do CPR on him? Yes. He says to me that, first of all, he wants you to know, thank you for trying to give him another chance and an opportunity. He shows me you finding him, and I kept seeing you you screaming and you trying to revive him. Yes. He yes. says to me, and Matt, he keeps going back and thinking about this again and again and again and all again. The time. That's all you can think about. He says to me that what you need to understand is that you did everything correct. I told you. So you think for some reason that you missed the step or you weren't doing CPR correctly and that you somehow missed the opportunity to save him. And that is not what had happened. He tells me, Matt, he goes, there was no way she was bringing me back. And you need to let her know that because she replays that day and she thinks of all the different scenarios that she could have that she could have done to keep yes. me alive and keep me with her here. He says, but what she won't tell you is that when we met one another, I had health problems, he tells me. Yeah. He he and I feel like he had asthma. Yeah, he did. He tells me that's how he died. He went to an asthma attack. Yes. That's exactly what happened. Because all of a sudden he tells me that he his his whole chest locked up. He went to the severe asthma attack. And I'm gonna tell you something else. He also tells me that you were there with him going through that attack. Yeah. And he told you not to bring him to the hospital and not to call the ambulance. He didn't want to live a life where if he was supposed to go, when he was supposed to go, you know, he didn't want to be on life support and all a of that. He, was, he like wasn't that. afraid to pass. He says to me when I'm connecting with him, that what he needs you to understand and what he needs you to know today is that if there was any way that he could have re-entered his body and lived, he would have. But he had two bad things going for him. He had a heart attack, he had a heart, heart issues, and he also had the asthma attack, the severe yep. asthma attack. Wow. Yep. He says, so please let her know, Matt, that even though we didn't get to take those next steps with one another, he says, he thanks God every day for just getting to meet you. He says, and for the time that we had with one another, because he says, Matt, the moment that I met her, he says, it's like we knew each other for years and years and years and years. You're right. See? And you can't get over that because no. you're like, oh my God, we had so much in common. And he even shows me like you finished in each other's sentences. He says, yeah. we were the exact same person. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. He yeah. wants to thank you for taking the trip in memory of him, he's telling me. Yeah. You're going away in memory of him, he's telling me? I'm I'm going out to meet his mother this oh. year, hopefully, yeah. So you didn't get to meet her? I didn't get to meet her yet, but I'm, we're still gonna meet up. We, we Actually, we talked about it the last conversation we had on the phone. So yeah. know that when you go to meet his mother for the first time, he's gonna be there. Wow. That's so amazing. Wow. And well, he's her, acknowledging- I literally talked about it. And he's acknowledging that as well. Mm, you know, right. what's so crazy is that you feel like he was here and now you think of him as gone. You think of him like you can't get in touch with him. You can't talk to him. You can't speak to him. And this is his way of acknowledging, I have not gone anywhere. Okay. He says to me that the one thing that he wants you to remember him by is by the music that you used to play and that you used to listen to. Because oh he says to me, gosh. I've been playing songs for her, Matt, so that she knows without a doubt that I'm he there. He always played songs for me. He always said, have you heard this song? Have you, we always, music was our thing. Sure. Yeah. He tells sure. me as well, do you have his clothes with you right now? I kept some of his clothes, they're at home, yeah. He's you have telling me that there's clothing that you take out that you look at. Yes. No. Yes. And then at one point, like I felt like you were sleeping with it or that you had it in the bed with you because he's acknowledging. I, I literally just took his shorts wow. from under the pillow. Like when we hit the six month mark of his passing, I removed the clothes from the bed, but they were there the whole time. Yes. So what he says to me is that if he can see all these things, he can see everything that's going on in your life. Your husband says to me that this is a start of you and him together experiencing life with each other just in a different way. I believe that. 
because I'm here by your side. He says, so everything that you experience in life, I'm not going anywhere. Whoa. He goes, because Whoa. God introduced us here in this world for a reason. Because you yeah. always say there was a reason why we met. There was a reason why we met. Yes. Today, I'm going to tell you that reason. He tells me that the reason why you met here in this world is so that you can be together in the afterlife. I believe even it. Even though life took you down a crazy path, even though you met each other later on in life, it doesn't matter. Your soulmate is your soulmate. So what he wants you to do is to enjoy every single moment here in this world, to know that he's here and with you, and more importantly, that he is safe and at peace. Oh my gosh, thank yeah, you so I much. Mean, I, I really hope that this helped you today. It did, thank oh, yeah. you so much, Matt. You have no idea.